friend They like I tell you always stay hot Oh they mad cause I keep making bops Oh she mad cause I'm taking her spot If I was I'd hate me a lot Like damn she in her mood Like damn she in her mood Like damn she in her mood Covering multi state issues up top. Hey guys, welcome to my very last DC vlog. I haven't even had a chance to talk to y'all today because I'm telling you, these last two weeks of work, baby, it's a lot going on. Yeah, it's just a lot going on. But I'm about to go to happy hour with Jordan or Jor Wish. I'm pretty sure y'all watch her channel too. So yeah, it's a little legal link up. Um, I'm also attempting, keyword attempting, to dress down the Saritia bodysuit i'm not wearing any shoes but or is it a onesie i don't know but at its core y'all this gives going out like take this little shirt out it's giving you know it's not the type of time i'm on though but i mean i don't hate this either anyway see y'all later hi, hi, you want to say hi, hi <laughs> it's a collab um, y'all i just caught up on these episodes we gotta discuss because <laughs> what First things first, I have not been good at vlogging today, but I got drinks with Jordan, which was nice. And then I caught up on these episodes. We gotta take this couple by couple. So first of all, Brett and Tiffany, my favorites. No notes, no notes. I just love them. Like, I hope they make it. I love Brett and Tiffany. Micah and Paul are so boring. Like get them off my screen. <laughs> I could walk outside, talk to the first man I see and have more chemistry with him than they do. Like get the, boring, 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 boring. Bliss and Zach, I neither like nor dislike them to be honest. I'm just indifferent. I feel like Zach is a little odd. Bliss, she seems very kind. She's very pretty. But I just feel like why are you even entertaining him when you were technically his second choice? Like. In the year 2023, we don't need to be spinning any blocks. They should be dead to you, okay? <laughs> Kwame and Chelsea, now they're interesting. I didn't like Kwame from episode one. I'm not gonna lie. I just didn't see it for him. Didn't like him from jump, if I'm being honest. I didn't mind Chelsea in the first few episodes, but now she just has this hint of desperation to her, which is never a good look. Like, no, 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 no. I think more than being with Kwame, she just wants to be married. Like she wants to be married, she wants to have kids. And I just feel like she's ignoring the red flags that he has because it's very obvious. I mean, granted, I don't know these people, but it's very obvious to me that he's not that into her. Like it's just, it's not there. It's not there. Now I was saving Jackie and Marshall for last, but to be honest, I don't even have the words. I, I knew Jackie was going to break his heart but the manner in which she did it, it was like, oh, this is cold. Like, but I will say there's this one part where Marshall referred to Jackie as a project. And I I didn't like that, that, oop, my bad, y'all. I didn't like that language. But at the end of the day, Marshall's a good dude. Like, he ain't deserve all that. That was, ugh. But larger point being, none of these couples are making it. Like, except Brett and Tiffany. <laughs> it's thursday meaning the weekend is almost here i could taste it it's actually my last weekend in dc um it'll be a chill one but you know i'll still be out and about so yeah i've been meaning to tell y'all i got a new book it's called the boyfriend project okay hear me out hear me out <laughs> So two of my favorite books, like easily my favorites that I've read in the past year are Seven Days in June and Before I Let Go. Both in the category of romance, which I don't usually read. I feel like we've had this conversation before. But on Book Talk, which I end up on from time to time, they were talking about this book, Get a Life, Chloe Brown, and oh, lots of Colleen Hoover. Lots and lots of Colleen Hoover, who I low key refuse to read. I came across a passage on Twitter from one of her books and it was real weird y'all like just very weird something about big balls and I just you know like girl what's going on I don't know I was just cool I'll miss Hoover after that but in all fairness that might not be reflective of 
all of her writing. I'm still finishing this one up as well, but you know, this one's just some cute for the girls. <laughs> so I'm going to Rubel Museum today. Um, it's one of the last few I need to see here in DC. It's not one of the free ones, but their pieces, so good. So good. And I'm also going to Hank's Oyster Bar with uh, this girl who, I feel like that sounds so impersonal, this girl. And uh, she wanted to talk to me about law school and stuff. So we're going there first and then the museum. First order of business though, my allergies, y'all, <laughs> it's out of control. I need you inspired, I need you excited, I don't wanna fight. Yeah. I figure out you, you figure out me, we go for different breed. I'm following your lead, I ask you what you need, you say a guarantee. I mean you say that like it's easy. You never believe me, so yeah, I got these for these other girls sleeping Oh no, girl, I'm sleepy Sometimes I'm so indecisive Lunch day was good, so was the museum I loved the artwork that they had in there, y'all like, I'm about to work on this presentation that I have to give in class this week But I started adding lion's mane in the mix because <laughs> it's supposed to help you focus Allegedly so I've been taking this. I honestly feel like it helps a little bit. I don't know if it's a, what is it? Confirmation bias or what? <laughs> Pop one of these. I gotta use this VIX. You know, the vapor rub. What is it? Like inhaler things? These allergies have me so congested, y'all. Like, is this gross? My bad. We're all friends here. Y'all good. Y'all be I. already um it's my last day in the office and my last day of class i feel like i already told y'all i have a presentation to do mine on like these anti-truth bills when book bans and whatnot um and then i analyzed it like as a equal protection first amendment and even title nine interestingly enough title nine issues so it's just a lot of clownery if you ask me but very dangerous at the same time so yeah it was interesting researching it for this uh presentation and it's gonna be my paper topic oh god not my lift arriving okay bye y'all i just ran downstairs real quick because they were giving out free coffee and banana bread listen i'm always here for something free <laughs> also, yeah, i'm a little irritated because this set is made so poorly like can y'all why is this like this Th why is it doing that with the lulu you losing me babe you're losing me and it's not even like i can go exchange it because my happy go lucky ass was just chopping off the tags uh loki though i owe y'all uh um creatine update i started using the powder because Apparently you're supposed to take five grams and the capsules I bought initially only had two grams. I use those on rest days basically. You know I gotta hit my signature hip hop. <laughs> but I feel like arms are way more toned. The little two pad, we, we ain't getting that. You know, we ain't getting that, but it's okay. Like my legs are, oh, hold on, we getting a little inappropriate. <laughs> Strong y'all, like this is a quad popping out. If you don't see what I'm seeing, just Pretend that you do. Woots! I mean, that was never the problem. <laughs> More tones, which was the goal, but I do sort of have like a particular body goal. Let me show y'all. I refrain from saying that though, because a lot of her, really, it's like the legs. The legs. She looks so good. Anyway, let me get back to like my job. Be ashamed to say you lost me. <laughs> anyway, 
like I said, Cassie was ahead of her time. But I am about to pack for that work trip to New Haven tomorrow. Um, so I guess I'll talk to y'all then. Alright y'all, so I just made it to Connecticut for this work trip. The hotel and the room are really cute. Real quick, let me tell y'all how I almost didn't make it. I woke up late this morning, didn't have time to do my morning routine, but I still got dressed on time. Called the lift, it says she's three minutes away. Cool. All of a sudden she canceled. Um, the next lift driver was further away. So I'm waiting on him, I'm waiting. Long story short, I got to the Amtrak station at 10.08, train was departing at 10.10, and they would not let me on in the midst of this i got my period too y'all might not want all these details but i'm giving them to you anyway i had a panic on the 10 30 train because they couldn't just switch over the tickets they only have first class available now i don't know about y'all but like i don't need to be first class on no amtrak like it would never was that serious <laughs> we made it here we're good that's all that matters i'll probably head to the event in like an hour so right now i'm just chilling Eating stuff, I ain't got no business eating. Thank you. A little bit, we don't have to do too much of it. For the past 60 years, the Federal Voting Rights Act has been one of the most effective tools at protecting the rights to vote for Americans all across the country. Um, but we've seen over the past couple decades in particular a long term effort by regressive judicial activists to roll back the powers of that Federal Voting Rights Act. Um, Preclearance is going to be staffed in the Secretary of the State's office. So the Secretary of the State is going to be hiring uh, voting rights experts so they can be looking at those local changes and identifying the kind of thing that might have a discriminatory effect. Shower. I need to watch the season finale of Snowfall because I saw spoilers on Twitter, of course, and I need to watch that episode. But the event went well, and then apparently Connecticut is like known for pizza, which not known to me <laughs> but it was actually real good y'all like real good so it's time to say bye to dc bye to our cozy little studio i have to figure out this bag situation y'all so this is like my carry-on right however i have this suitcase which is like my usual one um i have this one which i already had but I have to go to Target and buy another suitcase and all my stuff still didn't fit. I have this bag too. It's just, I'm not also trying to carry this on. I'm gonna try to fit in this a little bit. But listen, all these bags is overweight, okay? <laughs> I did try to move most of the stuff in here because I figured it's better to have one overweight bag as opposed to three. But I don't know if that helped at all. And I'm not trying to pay a fee. I'm really not. So. Although I will say when I moved here, they didn't weigh my luggage. It also wasn't overweight at the time, but I'm just hoping they don't weigh it again like now when it actually counts. So yeah. Oh, I gotta find somewhere for this shoe too. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Bye DC! Not me coming home to gifts. What? Hold on, hold on. And my grandma bought me a book. Wait, this is the 